heart of the Jewish people has been here in Hebron for thousands of years, since the time of our forefather Abraham. Recently, this heartbeat has been joined by the rhythm of modern construction, as Jews work to revitalize the city and ensure its future. Our bond to the ancient building of Beit Romano is expressed by the study of the Torah within it. This is the same bond that we have with all the rest of the ancient buildings of Hebron. When we study Torah here, in the city of our forefathers, we feel our continuity with the long line of generations who lived here. We know the Torah. The Torah of the land of Israel is the central focus of life, especially in our era, the era of the revival of the state of Israel. Such a large yeshiva in this place, Beit Romano, provides the strength and the heart of the Jewish community here in Hebron, the city of the forefathers, the city of Psalms. Beit Romano was built over a hundred years ago by the Romanos, a Jewish family from Turkey. Later, the Hebron Jewish community purchased the building to provide Rabbi Cheskiao Medini a venue to work on his renowned Talmudic encyclopedia, Sdei Hamid. After Rabbi Medini's passing, the building was bought by the family of Lubavitcher Rebbe Shalom Davber Schnerson in order to establish the Torah Emet Yeshiva there, under Rosh Yeshiva Rabbi Havlin. At the time of the British conquest, the British took over the building. During the Arab riots of 1929, Jewish dead and wounded were evacuated to Beit Romano. For decades, no Jews lived in Hebron. Beit Romano was spared when the other Jewish buildings in Hebron were destroyed because the Jordanians chose it to house their police headquarters and subsequently a girls' school. Six young men were murdered and many others injured on their way to visit their families in Beit Hadassah after Kabbalat Shabbat. In response to these murders, the Israeli government decided to establish a Jewish neighborhood in Hebron and return to Beit Romano to Jewish hands. The late Lubavitcher Rebbe Menachem Mendel Schneerson gave his blessing to the re-establishment of a yeshiva in Beit Romano. Two years after the tragedy, learning began in Yeshiva Shavei Hebron, the yeshiva of those who returned to Hebron, in order to bring the strong study of Torah back to the place that was the center of Jewish learning for so many centuries. The yeshiva began with just 10 students under the spiritual leadership of Rabbi Moshe Bleicher, a protege of Rabbi Tzvi Yehuda HaKohen Kuk, Zechot Tzadik Yivracha. The conditions were difficult. Beit Romano was desperately in need of renovation. In 1991, the restoration work began. The project was expected to take one year, during which time the yeshiva was situated in the settler's restaurant, across from Ma'arat HaMachpelah, the cave of the patriarchs. 
Meanwhile, the government changed hands, and the task of re-establishing a Jewish spiritual center in Hebron was passed to Jews all over the world. At the beginning of the renovation work, we discovered a basement that no one knew existed. We have excavated it, and eventually we will make it a permanent dining hall for more than 450 students. For now, it is serving a double purpose as a dining room and a study hall. Today, more than 200 students are learning at Yeshiva Shavei Hebron. They come from all over Israel, from a variety of ethnic backgrounds, and range in age from pre-army to adults. This is the roof of Beit Romano. We are now in the process of adding three more floors that will enable us to enlarge a student body with 300 more students. I always wanted to take the time to learn Torah intensively, to strengthen my ties with my roots. Learning in Hebron, where the Jewish nation laid down its very first physical and spiritual roots, gives me a sense of continuity. I feel like a link in the chain of Jews who have lived here for thousands of years. Here I am, living in the same place as Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, 3,000 years later, studying the same Torah that came from their Beit Midrash. By bringing Beit Romano back to life and Torah back to Hebron, we are reinforcing the roots of our nation and strengthening the branches of Am Yisrael that have grown towards the four corners of the earth. Each stone is important. Each represents thousands of Jews, past, present, and future, for whom Hebron is a source of strength and a symbol of Jewish continuity. Your support of Yeshiva Shavei Hebron will keep Beit Romano standing tall and the heart of the Jewish nation beating strong. The building will serve future generations as a lighthouse of Torah and a source of continued strength for the Jewish people.